Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from True Seeker and I'm in Soul 685 and uh, this one will not disappoint either. Like I said, I'm just really, I'm just showing off now. I made my point. If you watched all my past videos, or at least 10 of them, if you don't believe, you're never going to believe. So. There's nothing I could do for you. You might as well just unsubscribe and go to a different channel. For the 99% of my viewers, I love you guys. This is just for entertainment. You know, I mean, uh, most of the stuff I've shown you already, some of it's clearer than others, but, you know, like this stuff. I mean, just, you could see that this is machined something coming out the side of it you see the shadow underneath it I mean you can see that they did a little blurring see the blurring that they're doing here and here you come here's actually these look like some type of metal statues that are just either cast or carved but do you see how they distort it and add the strange colors and then you, there's a couple different techniques they're using which my viewers know this haze that they put see how they you can see where it comes see the line see that line it's perfect see how they change the color see where this comes up here like this statue would come up there's more of it here this statue comes up like you see the stuff in the background here I mean you see this circular object with it looks like it's got wooden pieces coming out of it. It's got a square in the center. It's got some type of shaft going into this circular item. Back here looks to be like some type of wall, another structure. But see how they just put that haze? And then you see down here the color. They add uh, different colors. They get it. I don't know what they call it. I guess it's just pixelating the picture is what they're doing. Yeah, they, they put these little black boxes, and when they don't want you to see something, they'll either haze it, use this color effect, or they do that black smudging. There's a couple other techniques they use, but for the most part, those are the real predominant ones that they're using. And they distort like this. You see this statue coming up? See how they distort it? They move the pixels around, they bend them. Okay, like here's another little statue head you can see. And it's easy to do. I mean, you can go into any, any of those Photoshops or anything, any of those programs, and you could distort. I mean, like this piece, look at it. There's a perfect square with a circle, comes down. And then there's pieces that come out that looks like an E almost. Now I believe that that's a letter. I've seen this in many, many spots all over Mars. I believe that has something to do with letters. There's a lot of circles you'll see on Mars. See this? It comes across. It's got triangles on the side, both sides. See how it's perfect? It's open. See, these are grave markers. See how this it comes up? This is an open, I guess it's like some type of uh, area where they would put like their little statues and stuff. See this perfect triangle? There's something behind that. Behind that haze. Like here, you see how they came and just blurred this? 
you could see part of the statue right there here you could see the heads you could see some of it this looks like a, a some type of big jug with something looks like something pouring right out of it see how it looks like there's something pouring out of this thing when I see stuff like this I think this is like little brush some type of plant life or something see how they put that black and they hide what's back there it's pretty easy for them to do they've become really good at it if you don't know what you're looking for you're going right by it See, I'm specifically looking for stuff like that. And that's what lets me know I got a good photo. Like you see stuff like that center screen. Look at this stuff. I mean, come on. There's no way that this stuff is naturally made. perfect example see the statue coming up it's a perfect sphere see how they put the black they black this it's a perfect sphere there's the base it's like what the hell is this thing got some type of center circle there's pieces on the side This comes up, it's got a perfect bend. It's a little hole here, it's something coming up that they had a blur. A piece in the back, they had a blur. You can see there's all types of... There's all types of 3D statues and stuff popping up. These to me could be giant buildings. See, there's the walkway you'd come in. You see, it's got some type of monument or something I'm carving up there. See, you would come in. There's another entrance. See these? I mean, they totally fool us with the scale. I mean, they even got some people believing that there's miniature people, which is very far from the truth. Everything is normal size. Huge, but some of the stuff is big. From what I can, that's just my opinion, from what I can tell. Of course, I don't know. carving see how they just anything that's cool you got these they start with these different colors and half will be gray half will be blue red
One thing I know for sure is this stuff's got to be absolutely gorgeous to stand next to it and touch it. And I believe there's Americans and people probably from China, the European Space Agency, up here already. Lucky, lucky bastards. This, this is just a crazy area. This looks like a pipe coming into some type of piece. I don't know what you would want to call it. Here's more little carvings. Look at that. Two eyes, and it looks like a frown on the face. That is trippy. That is crazy. Yeah, this kind of stuff is just, the wind does that. The wind makes pipes and stuff, bent piping. The, the dust devils do that. We got you, Mark. We got you, NASA. The dust devils do that. We're sorry. We didn't mean to question you, NASA. It's just amazing that NASA all the emails I've sent them over the years I've gotten like three or four responses basically not even to the subject that I was talking about so that's the that's all the confirmation that I need I mean all they had to do is send me the link to different views of the picture that I had in question. That's all I was asking for. Is if there was additional pictures that I could research and different angles. And most of the stuff, if they would have sent me extra, you know, pictures or links, you know, maybe, uh, like I explained to them, maybe I would have, you know, discovered something amazing that they didn't find or totally debunked my own. Uh, you know, that's all I was looking to do. Whether I'm wrong or I'm right, I, I just want the truth. I don't keep count that I'm wrong or I'm right or I made a mistake. I just want the truth. I don't keep count like that in my life. You know, when I'm wrong, I'll be the first to admit it. I have no problem with it. I could care less. It means absolutely nothing to me to be wrong. You know, some people have these huge egos and they got to be right all the time or they know everything. And I could care less. I don't keep track of, oh, I was right or you were right or, you know, even with friends and family, I could care less, you know. You know, people that always have to have the last word or be right all the time or be involved in everybody's business. It's it's kind of pathetic, you know. I could care less if I'm right all the time. I just don't keep track of stuff like that. The only thing that matters to me is the truth. The truth is a very big thing with me. Once you break it, that's kind of it. <laughs> You know, some people are so conditioned to lie that they just do it just for the hell of it, you know. It's like NASA and everybody that surrounds NASA. This is a great, this is an amazing discovery. I mean, it changes every, you know, changes, you know, a big part of our history. You know, 
that's what I'm proud of. You know, when I look at this stuff, I know there's something else. And I know for sure. Because there's no way that all this stuff that's in these pictures. I mean, look at this thing. There's no way that all of this stuff is made by wind, rain, dust devils. This piece, you see the carvings in it? See, this is not even a rock. See how they add the black here? You could see the line. You see it? You see the perfect line? And then they just faded here, and then they put some of this white. See, this is just the carving. That's how they're hiding the stuff that's really predominant.
see this. I mean, you gotta just, you gotta be kidding me. These are rocks. Okay. Wow, look at this thing. It's got a shadow underneath it. It's like, it's got a pole coming up or something. That's weird. This blur across here. Hmm. Another good example. See this? See how they put this like uh, white cloudy stuff? And then look at the blocking. What's really cool is, look at this, it looks like a pipe, a bent pipe, coming right out. But there's nothing there for us to see. Another one, see, see what's in there? You can see the structure of the carving. There's one eye, there's the other eye. It would come down, see? They've just put this haze around it. The head would come up there. To me, it looks like a gray alien head with the big eyes. But they, you know, they blur and they put all these crazy colors in it. Like I said, the closer we get to Mount Sharp, I just have no idea. You know, I know I've seen in the news about this rover and the wheels, you know, but the wheels are falling off of it. So, I mean, I know what's coming. Look at this. Looks like a half of a, some, like a half of a barrel or something that was just cracked right in half. Look at the. So, I mean, I know what's coming. There's definitely going to be a rover failure. And here's another S. I see these all over the place. These look like letters. Look at this. There's that three again. See these all over the place. Alright guys, 23 minutes in. Yeah. The great thing is I hear a lot of you guys saying that you you like the longer videos and you, you, know, you pause at certain parts and really just look through, which is nice. I try to point out as much as I can and uh, I mean you guys know what we're looking at. You weren't born yesterday. All right, guys, I'm out. I might have maybe one or two more this weekend. I just have to see how things go. Um, you know, we'll take it from there. Love you guys. Truth Seekers out.